I'm good. Um, can I get the veggie sandwich and... Please don't ever feel like you're stuck unless you have a poverty mindset. Hey y'all, it's Janelle and I'm going to start this vlog off right. We're going to Cold Stone. Yes, baby, Cold Stone. If you know, you know. Um, also, I have to go to Petco because I have to replace my purple fish. Um, my purple fish died, so I have to replace my fish. It's something about my fish tank when it glow up at night and the glow fish when they glow up at night, it just do something to me. I'm all about vibes, so got to replace my purple fish, so we're going to do that. But, of course, we're going to go to Cold Stone first. And I think I'm going to get, um, like it because I got to go in a pet store. And y'all know that ice cream melt fast. Best ice cream, hands down. If you know, you know. Um, and yeah, for anybody that's new, I'm Janelle on this channel. There's a whole bunch of vlogs, a few story times here and there. And I just know you'll like it here. So, let's go. Like she didn't even make it well first of all I think she put it in a bigger cup but it looks sad I'm sure it ain't gonna change the taste it's 94 degrees to death it's hot mm-mm-mm so, this, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to get back with y'all because I can't, I can't even talk. Exactly where they are. So, right here. Wow, they only have little baby purple ones. Okay. Might have to get this one. Wow, they so little. I want a big one. Hmm. So now I'm looking for like um some type of treat. Orange slices. I wonder where we eat them. Orange slices. Um I'm not sure. Papaya. Mini pops. Mm, mm, mm. I remember I had a guinea pig when I was young. I would be petrified of one of these things now. Petrified. Oh my goodness. It looks like a rat. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't. I don't see how I had one of them. Mm. y'all uh, got the fish hopefully this one lasts um i had them since december so i guess they done pretty good because typically fish don't last that long anyway but got the little baby purple fish i gotta hurry up and get home it's too hot so i see y'all when i get home Woo! Damn it. Okay, set this on here. Mm. 
What time is it? It's 3.58. So, yeah, y'all, I just got back in the house, like, just a couple minutes ago. And y'all saw me put the fish in the tank and everything. Leave that in there about 15, 20 minutes. And I'm just going to sit here and chill. If y'all hear bird noises, that's the, the parrot channel that I put on for energy when I leave out. So, that's that's still in effect. And, um... I'm going to just relax for a little while because I'm a little bit tired and I should have gotten something to eat while I was out because now he's going to jump on the mic. Will you move? Please. Please. Come here. Come on. Come on. Off the mic. Come on. Come on. Anyway. So, I am so super late with, like, crystal light. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, I always would see people putting crystal light in their water and be like, why don't y'all just get some juice? Anyway, my mother had um, the mango peach one one day. I was so thirsty, and if y'all been watching me, water is not my favorite. I do drink plenty of it, but it, it just don't do nothing for me. It do not quench my thirst. I was so thirsty one day, and she had some crystal light, and she had the mango peach and I put that in my water and it was so good. And I didn't, I never picked up Crystal Light in the store. <laughs> I didn't know nothing about it. It was zero. I don't even look at calories and stuff. It's zero calories. I ain't know it was, I think it's sugar free. I ain't know it was none of that because I just never looked at it. But of course I went and brought me a box of that like a minute ago. Oh my goodness, it's so good. So I'm going to put that in some ice cold water and I'm going to sit here and chill. So, and then, um. I'm probably going to eat some leftovers because I had cooked last night. But I really kind of wanted something, something. I wanted some Thai food or something. I, I just wanted something else. I should have got something when I was out, but I have to, like, actually have a taste for something. And I kind of do want Thai food, but I really didn't have a taste for nothing. So, I don't know, y'all. But I'm going to be back in a minute. And will you move, please? If y'all hear all this... Noise in the mic. It's energy. I'll be back. Yeah, all I ended up getting was sushi from there. Like, I'm really, really hungry, and their menu just, it, it just wasn't it for me. So, I'm going to look. Let's see what they got, because I need something else, not just no sushi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Oh, I already know what I want. I want shrimp lo mein. Okay. Yep, that's what I want. So, yeah, y'all, um... This is like a couple days later from when I went to Cold Stone and everything. So I wanted to add that. But um, I'm so hungry. Oh my gosh. So I'm waiting on my sushi up there somewhere. And then I'm getting shrimp lo mein. And I got me a green, green tea. So don't mind these. Anybody know about 4C hair? Um, the heat. The heat just edges in the heat. It depends on what you use. I've been out all day. So anyway. Don't mind these. So I'ma see y'all. I think I got like a 20 minute drive home. So I'ma see y'all when I get home. Okay, so I made it back in the house. Thank God. Made it back in the house. I wanna show y'all my food real quick before I smash because I am so hungry. 
And yeah, I put some gel on my edges. It look white. So if it look white to you, that's what it is. Um. Oh. This looks so good. Let me show y'all. So this is shrimp lo mein. Y'all hear energy? Y'all might see him. He on the chair. And what else? Some kind of um, what sushi did I get? I got um dynamite rolls, dynamite rolls. So I saw him put the torch. He lit the torch to it. So. I never had sushi from that place before or lo mein from this place, so baby. So yeah, I got some sriracha and some um what's this? Eel sauce and sriracha. Cause I wanted this I learned something new today. So I said I want the spiciest, the spiciest sushi on y'all menu. She was like, We don't have spicy. Japanese doesn't do spicy, only Korean does spicy. And I was like, Really? And she said, yeah, Japanese does not do spicy. I said, so, okay, this is my first time here. Y'all know the spill. I always say that when I go somewhere because I'm always going somewhere new. So I was like, what would you recommend? Something hot. So I said, oh, yeah, dynamite rolls. And she was like, but they not spicy. I'm like, Lord, give me the dynamite rolls. I said, and give me some sriracha. Give me some eel sauce. Give me something to, you know, bring the level of spice up. And she just started laughing. But let me eat. Oh, my God. I'm so hungry, y'all. And I'll be back. I'll be right back. <laughs> y'all, this sushi is so good. Only thing, it's like falling apart because it's real soft. Even though he lit the torch to it, I'm gonna go right here. It's good. Anytime you don't have to put no um, soy sauce on your sushi, just I've added the sriracha and the eel sauce. Now I'll be back.
for what I have like planned for my entire day. But right now, I'm on my way to get a few things from the store. And I want to get like a cute drink or something. So, of course not alcohol. Probably Dunkin' Donuts or something. I don't know. So, I see y'all in a few. Hey y'all. So, I didn't even um vlog from earlier. It's like a few hours, few hours later, but right now I'm about to get um I'm about to get something to eat. I had a taste for some french fries. If if you know, you know, potatoes is my favorite food. So, I had a taste for some french fries. So, I'm about to um go in five guys and get um the veggie sandwich and some french fries really quick and then i'm gonna go back in the house going in here i haven't been in here in a minute so i guess y'all can see it the veggie sandwich is 519 with cheese 599 so that's what i'm getting and a little fry i was gonna get a milkshake their milkshakes are too sweet for me though like too sweet so i'm not gonna get a milkshake Veggie sandwich and a little fry. Um, and can I get a cup of ice water, please? Yes. Thank you. Like the um, what I was gonna say. The fries that I like the best is Checkers and Five Guys fries. Oh my gosh, and with vinegar. So. That's what I want. I want vinegar on my fries, or well, you know, on the side, and well, I'm gonna just put them on top. Yeah, they got all that out. That's what's going on. So I get with y'all when I get um back in the house. I was in there so long. It's getting dark. So anyway, I really had a taste for fries, really, really bad, and that's just one of the um places where i love their fries like absolutely love their fries but i wanted to try this place for anybody who would be wanting to know about different places that sell meatless um stuff is another fast food place um but they sell veggie burgers and i'm not a real big veggie burger person like i do eat them i eat boca that's how i say it boca b-o-c-a boca in a red box walmart for anybody want to know they the best veggie burgers to me i've tried plenty of them okay but they the best ones that i like so i wanted to try that place but i heard their fries were really nasty and that's what i really wanted with some french fries so i had a taste for some really good fries so i was like i'll try that place another time yeah i tried that another time for anybody who want to know about certain places that you know have like because a lot of places is you know the world is changing a lot of places is getting down with like meatless stuff but before a, a lot of places didn't have you know meatless stuff but five guys i always stood by them when it comes to the veggie sandwich because i like the fact that they respect people that don't eat meat they cook on the side of the grill where they put the buns. Now, keep in mind, I don't know what they do when I ain't there. But every time when I would go, um, not the side of the grill where the burgers are cooked. But on the side of the grill where they, like, um, cook the buns or make the buns toasted. That's where they cook anybody that get a veggie sandwich. Oh, my goodness. Come on now. So, um, it has like mushrooms and all of that. And I forgot to add cheese. Like, oh my goodness, y'all know I love cheese. I forgot to add cheese. But, um, it's whatever. It's gonna have to do. But yeah, like the mushrooms and everything make it taste like you eating a burger almost. Even though I'm not really a big burger person. But it just tastes so good. So, that's for anybody that want to know about that. I'll let y'all see when I get in the house. Because I just don't like eating in a car too much unless... I'm not going right in the house, so gotta keep my eyes on the road. But yeah, y'all see it's getting dark, so yeah. So anyway, I'll be back. So 
So y'all yeah, just got back in the house. And I'm gonna eat real quick. Um, I'm sure everybody already know about Five Guys veggies. This stuff been around forever. Veggie sandwich. Um, I'm sure y'all already know about it. Oops. But I'm gonna show y'all. Just for any, because I... It might be somebody watching that never knew nothing about it. It might be interested. So let me show you. Okay, so it's just, this is what's in there. Lettuce, which I'm not a fan of tomatoes, but I'll eat them long as I can't taste them too much. Grilled onions, mushrooms, mayonnaise, lettuce. That's it. Oh, uh, and there go my fries. Let's see. Look at my fries. And that's not even all of them. Y'all know how five guys do. Y'all know five guys give you a whole lot of fries, so. So, I'm going to eat this. And I'm going to get back with y'all in a little while. Like I said, I had really wanted a milkshake, but I like Chick-fil-A milkshakes because Five Guys milkshakes, they so sweet. It's too much sugar in there for me. But, so I just settled for water. I just got water. So yeah, I'll be back. So I just got finished eating and I just wanted to come back on here and just, you know, chit chat a little bit because this vlog, it was on a whole bunch going on. This summer, I thought I was going to be like outside, but things don't always go as planned, even though I don't really do a whole lot. Let me make that, let me say that first. A lot of things just do not interest me. I don't be wanting to do a whole, whole bunch, but I still thought that I would be outside like a little bit more, but hey it is what it is so um you know i'm just relaxing i'm about to take a shower and everything <clears throat> yeah so yeah i just you know i haven't um had a whole whole bunch going on like i anticipated but i'm really excited about my mom's birthday that's coming up i'm really excited about that it's a big deal I can't, I, I love to buy stuff. I'm sure some of y'all are like that too. I just like to buy stuff that, you know, with intention, if that makes sense. Like, not just um, impulse shopping. No, I don't do that anymore. I used to be one of them. But I like to buy things that, you know, are meaningful and that have purpose. Like, instead of just wasting money, just, just to be buying something to say you bought it. So anyway, I can't wait until her birthday because I have um, some things that I'm going to get starting to work on that now her birthday is next month in september so what's today today is um i don't know today is what august the 19th 20th i don't know i can't remember it's just like some days i don't even be remembering the days i know y'all probably said girl come on i really really don't even be knowing the dates like in my past career everything was so like structured like well my whole life was never really that structured. It was structured, but you know how some people only wash clothes on a Saturday. They only cook dinner on Sunday. No, I would even cook dinner at 7 o'clock at night if that's what I wanted to do. I would wash clothes five days a week if that's what I wanted to do. I'm that type of person. But I'm not that structured with, oh, I'm only going to eat out on Thursday. No, I'm going to eat out whenever I want to eat out. And I'm going to cook and eat out. I'm going to do both. Because I might cook during the day. And then after I cook, I might not want that. I might want something else. So that's just me. So anyway, my whole point in saying this is, yeah, what was my point? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, back to like the whole impulse. Well, I think that's what I was talking about. Anyway, my past career, everything was just like, do this, you do that, this time, this time. Oh, yeah, about the dates and everything. This time, this date, you got to know this. It was like I had calendars. I think I even still have a lot of my calendars from back then. I don't know why I'm keeping them, but, you know, some stuff, you write really important stuff, you know, in calendars, and you just don't want to just get rid of But anyway, now that that part of my life is long gone, because that's been, if y'all haven't watched that video, I'll link it. Four years ago, I retired from there, um... I don't care nothing about 
dates unless they are important dates like my son's birthday, my mom's birthday, my brother's birthday, which is only a couple days after mine. You know, my niece and nephew, things like that. Like, um, I don't care about days and dates as much as I used to because I had to care about them because I was on a schedule, you know, you, you off these days, you work these days. Yeah, I don't care about none of that no more. So when I be on here and y'all probably like, she can't possibly not know what day, I really don't even be remember what day it is. But today is Thursday. Yeah, today's Thursday. I don't know if it's August the 19th, 20, I, I'm gonna put it on the screen. I don't even know. Like, I don't watch the news no more. I barely... It's just a whole bunch of stuff that I just wanted to just be done with. Like, when you are having to do certain things for so many years, some people might, you know, be creatures or habits and just continue to do those things. Not me. I like I like new stuff. I like starting fresh. I like doing new stuff, trying new stuff, like new food, all of that, going new places. I just like new stuff. Um, So, that's why I say... In my last video, I'll link that too if no one has listened to that video. Um, I'm just the type of person that I'm always on to the next best thing. Like, that's just me. I mean, hey, it might be bad depending on who perspective, you know, is thinking it's bad. It works for me. So, yeah, I'm always on to the next best thing. And um, I, I like it like that because if you you know, took a walk in my shoes and seeing how structured and how punctual and, you know, how consistent everything had to be in my life for so long. I'm talking two decades, okay? Um, I don't give a damn about times, dates, the news. I'm going to do what I want, when I want. If I don't like this no more, I'm out. I'm doing this. I don't like that no more. I'm on to something. That, that's just how I am. So, it works for me. Um... It actually makes me super happy. Like, I, I just like it. I don't want to be stuck. I don't want to be... Or ever even have that mindset of feeling stuck again. Like, I, I it, some of y'all, whoever watching this, y'all might feel like that. Please don't ever feel like you're stuck unless you have a poverty mindset. That's the only reason that you would ever or should ever feel stuck. And you shouldn't even want to have a poverty mindset. Whatever you feel like you are stuck in, research and get up out of it. Just like that. It, it's, it, it will move and it will, sh it will shake and it will change when you shake and when you change. So it can be done. So yeah, don't feel stuck, you know. Just rise up and do what needs to be done. That's, that's just how I live my life. But I'm going to end this vlog here. And um... This was a few days, you know. I'm going to say, I'm going to title it weekly vlog because it was about, I think, five days. Yeah, not seven, but about five days of my life. So, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to subscribe. Hit the like. Leave a comment. You know the whole spill. Um, Thank you so much for, <laughs> for watching.